Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today and today we have some great news. All the 30 apps from Q4 2021 just came out and it's amazing to be honest man. We're going to talk about Lee Lu, Seth Klarman, we talk about Guy Spirit and Monish in this video but let's get into Lee Lu first. This was a huge surprise. Is Lilu copying me? Like, what is going on, man? Because look what he just did. He just added his Facebook position, 53%. And I was done adding Facebook. I was doing the same thing. Like, look what he was selling. He was selling Facebook every single quarter. He sold um, Facebook in Q4, Q1, right? And then he goes on to buy it because he sees it so undervalued, man. So he added 53%. And that's exactly what I saw too. I just I just had a video about Facebook. This is 12 days ago. And I still don't know if I made the right decision because I didn't have enough money to like I had enough money, but I didn't want to go out and put more capital. I still want to have like a 5% position in cash just in case. And I sold off my Micron for like a 15-20% gain and then it's already gone up crazy it's already at like $91 right now so I don't know if that was a mistake and then I bought into more Facebook because I feel like Facebook right now it's $350 to $400 stock that's what it's really worth in my opinion I don't believe that every, all this metaverse and all that stuff is unpredictable as everyone thinks it is we have proof that the Oculus is growing. It grew like 100% year over year. Like, what more proof do you need that Oculus is here to stay? People, kids are actually coming up and getting more into AR and VR. That space is growing like 20% a year. Like, so are we trying to say like that's just unpredictable when we know Oculus is working and they're just going to continue that progress? And the spend that everyone is crying about? Think about it, they're not in, just investing in metaverse, like that's a false narrative that ju they're just spending on metaverse and that's all. That's false, if you actually read the report, they're investing in AI, they're investing in data, facilities, and people, like you're always gonna need to invest in that. And the data, AI, um, the supercomputers, that's so, there's gonna be better ads. Like they, that's what they're telling you. They're doing the data servers, they're doing AI intelligence, all that so they don't have to rely on Apple as much. Get better data so they can give better ads. So that's what they're hinting at. That's what they're saying. They're going into WhatsApp business and that's generating, that's gonna start generating money in my opinion because WhatsApp low key, a lot of people overseas use that as business. Like they use WhatsApp for business. So that's very underrated right now. So Facebook, I feel like it has a lot of potential. People are not seeing it that way. People are very bearish. And that's when you want to invest in these companies. You're going to be contrarian. It's going to be so hard for you to invest in Facebook now because everyone's shitting on Facebook. Everyone thinks it's the worst company ever. You're going to shun it away because you want to do what everyone else does. And everyone else wants to throw out Facebook, say it's a bad investment because of this, this, and that. But they're not doing the deep vibes. They're not going to have that contrarian view. Can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm always providing you guys with so much new content man so subscribe 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 he invested more in bank of america and i think this is a good trade because yes interest rates are gonna go up and that's all gonna benefit the banks man these interest rates going up they're gonna get more money on their interest so this is a good move as well he still has a huge micron position and i told you i sold out of my micron i don't know if that was a mistake it might have been but i thought facebook is way more undervalued than micron right now I don't know if that's, like, that could be iffy, that could be, you could say maybe Micron's still more undervalued than Facebook, but I don't see it that way, so we're going to see how that kind of plays out over time, but I still made a nice profit on Micron. He sold out of PDD, man, he sold out 100%, it was only like 1.5% of his portfolio, so it wasn't a huge lot, but that's still kind of eye-opening. He did sell Baba too, but this was back in 2020, so... We're seeing what Lee Lu's doing, and he has such a tight knit portfolio. Any move that he makes, it's always like a bang, man. So, Lee Lu is one of the greats in investing. So, always good to see the moves that he's making. And you can see that he has a high commission in Minecraft, Bank of America, kind of Facebook. So, let's see what happens. 
I think if it goes back to 350, 400, he's going to freaking sell right out of a Facebook again. He's going to sell out of it. He's just seeing it as a huge investment opportunity at the moment. So let's get into Seth Clareman. So Seth Clareman, another amazing value investor. We are going to see the moves he made. So he reduced on Intel. We're looking at this, the main moves. Reduced on Google, which is kind of surprising because Google had a nice earnings. It had like, what, 30, 40% growth. So getting out of Google is kind of interesting. He got out of Meta. See, this is the opposite side of it. Someone, a nice value investor like Seth Clareman is getting out of Meta. And on the opposite side, we see Lilu diving head over heels for Meta. So it's a good observation to see in the different point of views we're seeing. So what's that you're on? Maybe he sees that Facebook's reinvestment risk is really strong. The whole ad service is really, it's going to go downhill. So he's probably, he might be seeing the opposite of what Lilu is doing. Fizzer, this is an interesting buy. I'm going to have to definitely look more into this company. He invested more in Liberty. Uh, he, uh added uh he reduced dropbox drop a lot of people had high hopes for dropbox so i'm not sure if that's an investment to look at but people still have that dropbox saying it's really undervalued it still has a lot of potential i'm not sure if i should look into that even his sales look what he's been selling so he i told you he sold intel meta he sold all of ebay he sold 50 percent of micron see these <laughs> It's always crazy to see this because you see two different opposing sides. Because when we get into Morse Probri, we're going to see he actually added Micron. So he sees a lot of upside there and a lot of upside potential. As you can see, Li Lu took 40% of his portfolio in Micron, which is huge. That's a big eye-opening thing, just like 40%. That's a huge show. If Micron goes down, if they have a bad quarter, who knows? Maybe they drop 20%, 30%. Who knows, man? So that's crazy to hear. Yeah, he reduced Dropbox. So you can see the moves that Seth Clareman is making. So what do you think about the Seth Clareman moves, the Lee Lu moves, man? Do you, is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? What companies are you looking at right now since these 13 apps just came out? Looking at Morse Probi's portfolio, he added Micron 15%. Which is kind of crazy because he really has 78% of his portfolio in Micron. But this is not his full portfolio. He still has races. He has he still has like these overseas companies. He has process, which didn't show up on this. So it's this is not his whole portfolio. This is just his American portfolio. But him adding more, it's just showing you that he's really bullish on Micron. Because he did talk about Micron. How they basically get a tax on anything. Any kind of servers that people produce. They get a lot of money from that they basically get a, like a tax on all this data service because you're going to need chips memory chips to produce those servers so he's seeing micron as a huge bull going forward he reduced seritage man srg which is kind of surprising because he was really up on seritage so maybe he's kind of brought that back down and who knows what happens with Sarah Chip. People are really bullish on Sarah Chip. They have a huge potential. They think their properties are worth a lot more than what it's selling up for right now. So let's see what happens with Sarah Chip. But Morse Probri, he's a big bull on Micron and on Tencent process. So do you like that? Do you like what he did? He sold off Sarah Chip and bought more Micron. Do you think Micron's at a good price right now? It's like around $92, $93. So let's see what happens with Micron, man. And then we get into Guy Spear, man. This is amazing, man. He didn't do nothing. That's like the memo with Guy Spear, man. He's just ice cold. He has that, like that ice cold veins, man. He just doesn't do anything. He just stands pat, stands still. He just holds the company and he loves the company that he holds. He just sees all these as long-term investments and as like companies that he really truly believes in. So that's how he kind of invests. So I love the fact that he just stood still. He held all of these amazing companies. Like there's not really any chinks in the armor in his portfolio. Maybe the only chink maybe is Seritage, but Seritage has a, a kind of like a low risk and a high upside, right? Because it is backed by Berkshire too. So Everything in his portfolio is pretty sound, like Berkshire, American Spence, Bank of America, MasterCard, Ferrari, Micron, another Berkshire, Moody, Seritage, Alibaba, like everything is just sound investment. So I really like Guy Spears portfolio. It's amazing and how he's just stand pat. This is he he is the pinnacle of just being very, very patient, holding on to your winners, holding on to the stocks that you own and you love. So that's it for the video, guys. What do you think about all of these moves? 
Micron, Facebook, Seritage selling that off, selling off eBay, Seth Claremont, Guy Spear, Monish, Briley, Lou, all of these movements, man. So tell me what you think about these 13 Fs. I'm going to do more. So, man, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I get back to you in the next video. Peace.